Well, good Monday morning to you, and welcome to our live edition of Healthy Living South Mississippi. Live healthy, be healthy. I'm Jim Tabor, along with Drs. Jim and Janine Fox. Oh, uh, Doctors Nutrition, located on Cowan Road in Gulfport, just south of Pass Road. Hope everybody had a wonderful Thanksgiving weekend, and uh, you're able to move today. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't pack on some uh, extra weight, because uh, majorly uh, what we're going to be talking about today is how to stay healthy through the holidays. And, of course, that could be uh, eating too much. It could be, you know, with the weather changes that we have down here. Cold, and so you, yeah, cold's coming up. Cold's coming blues. up. Yeah, got some uh, storms coming this way, according yeah. to Tommy. We're going to get uh, finally get some good, uh, get some rain. So, uh, you know, winter colds, that's uh, kind of the big thing this time of the year. Something that just came up, we talk about how important it is um, to, you, you know, to have this in your system, but all of a sudden there's this report that, we don't need vitamin D? Yeah. Well, yeah, well, what it was, well, it hit all the main news stations. It even hit the local news stations. And what they do is they take one little meta-analysis, which a meta-analysis is not a study. It is a group of people that got together, picked out some studies they wanted to base something on, and then wrote a paper on it. And what they basically said was it only looked at falls and fractures, and that was it. They didn't look at any other health problems, any right. other health anything. It looked at, and it was out of New Zealand. Well, you don't know how long these studies were. Bone density takes a year to help. I mean, Minimum. so who, you know, Minimum. thing is, it told you nothing about what, what was looked at, what was done. And then the headlines, though, didn't say vitamin D really doesn't help fractures, which is what they kind of said in this paper. It just came out as vitamin D isn't as good as we thought, and it probably don't help any disease. And that's absolutely not true. Some of the real recent research on congestive heart failure, great studies coming out. And even a doctor at John Hopkins has a new paper out on it, on how it helps with congestive heart failure, how it helps with heart disease. There's so many papers written on the benefits of vitamin D, but yet the headlines will splash and make it sound like it isn't beneficial. Sean Hannity's right. Journalism's dead. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, if you, I'm, seriously, if you just take some, you know, some garbage that comes over the wire, you don't want to, you don't want to you know, look into the details of it. You just immediately put it on the air. Um, you know, you got to think, okay, journalism's dead. I mean, you got to look at, you got to research this stuff, you know, and, and for, the, for the folks out there listening, all right, you can do the research yourself. I'm sure you right. have a computer. I'm sure you have Google, okay? Go to Google, type in PubMed, P-U-B-M-E-D, PubMed. It's the National Institutes of Health. It'll take you there. Type in vitamin D and, and just and put sit in back. Fractures. And, put in fractures. Put in what they yeah. were talking about because I uh, this, did it this morning. And you're talking myself. about bone fractures. Yes, bone fractures. Bone fractures. Yeah. And, and we looked at yeah. stress fractures. There's tons of research out there on how low vitamin D status actually increases the risk for stress stress fracture. Right. Now, they may have been looking, who knows on this smell analysis? It may have been looking at Frank bone breaks that are displaced. Who right. knows? I mean, you don't know what they were actually looking at because they don't go into detail on what the papers were about. And so, People don't need to stop taking their vitamin D. No. I mean, we always recommend checking levels, just like always. You don't, if you need D, you need to take it. And you can check the levels easily. We do it routinely in our lab work. And so don't go by well, It's like I take something that uh, has got a combination of A, D, K. Yeah, exactly. Right, exactly. And, exactly. And, exactly. And we always say you have to have the vitamin A and K2 to make D work. Mm -hmm. And we've definitely seen changes on bone density scans with A, D, K2. Now, we didn't see it with plain vitamin D. For years, we didn't have the ADK2, and we used a lot of plain vitamin D, and we didn't see the, D, right. the increased you know, bone density. We definitely have seen it since we've had the ADK2 for a few years. Yeah. Because it takes a year or more to actually build bone. So it takes a while. I think the takeaway, though, is do your own research. Yeah. Um, or, or call us. We'll kind of point you in the right direction if you have to. But, um, you know, it's, th there's so much information out there on these nutrients, like vitamin D and, and K2 and all this other stuff that's going on. And, and it's just kind of disheartening. I mean, you know, this, this election cycle kind of broke us, you know, from Mary, like, God, deliver us from another, you know. And you, you see that really and truly, you know, the journalism, you know, the journalists are supposed to research this stuff. You know, if somebody tells you that, you know, the sky is falling, don't you think you need to look for it and say, hey, is this really happening? But they don't. They just immediately throw it out there on the air. And, you know, and, of course, you, the public out there, if you don't know any better, you don't right. look and at the, it. The bad thing is what we have found over the years, when something like this hits the wires and hits the mainstream media and it's on every station you turn on, the doctors follow it. They don't look at where it came from. No. The next thing we'll be hearing from everybody to come in is, well, my doctor said I shouldn't be taking vitamin D, even though they're the ones that put them on in the first place. You know what I mean? So 
honestly, they don't take the time. The first thing I did when I saw that was start looking where it came from. What did they do? Did they do a study? Did they do a meta-analysis? What was used? How long was it? You know, I actually, we started looking for that kind of stuff, and so we got the mm -hmm. paper, and it was actually from the British Medical Journal. Yeah, and, and a meta-analysis mm -hmm. is, is not re real research, okay? What you're doing is you're just taking, like she said, a bunch of other studies that were done, and, and you're kind of gleaming and picking and out certain details. You can actually pick the and, studies that you want to do it on, so you might take, yeah. and there's no doubt, if a study wasn't done right, if they didn't use a high enough dose, if they didn't use the other nutrients with it, it may show no, no benefit. Now, it didn't show any harm. There was nothing that said that it was harmful. It just said that it was no benefit. Well, you can find out of you know 5,000 studies, there might be 10 of them that said there was no benefit. Yeah. And they actually do a meta-analysis on those studies. And somehow that can hit the main news. But what's funny is, Unfortunately, you know, big pharma is pretty big in this country. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And big when time, big time. we, there was a really good study yeah. that came out about a year, year and a half ago that I couldn't believe didn't hit the news wires, because its headlines were not good. It was actually um, statins cause arterial sclerosis and congestive heart failure, and it was actually a really good paper, really good study. Never heard a peep out of it because it was talking about one of their drugs. And what it talked about was, and we've talked about it on the show, how it depletes nutrients, and those nutrients cause other problems. And that's what this study was done. And it was done at a medical institution. It wasn't done from a nutrition standpoint. Right. But they pick what hits the media as well. It's not just, you know, vitamins. If one little thing comes out, it's it will hit big pharmaceutical everywhere. companies. they got money to make off oh, of yeah. this stuff. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. They really yeah. do. That's true. Yep. 896 800 The phone lines, you can call in with the, your question regarding, uh, you know, how to uh, get through the holidays healthier. And we yes. will be talking about that. We will be doing <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Well, I mean, you know, vitamin D, I mean. It's, vitamin D is important during well, this time of the year. Especially, you know, because there's not much sun. This time of the year sun. because of the sun, you know, the sun not being out as much. People not exactly. being out in the sun with, you know, no short sleeves and shirt. You know, there's no doubt sun, I always say sun is the most beneficial thing you can get because I think there's more yeah, things cheap. that sun does other than vitamin D. Just be I sure think, you wear sunscreen. Yeah, I yes. think there's, well, for vitamin D, if you wear sunscreen, it blocks it. So you need a short amount of time without right. sunscreen. Um, a short amount, 15 minutes. Yeah. And that's what they say because if you wear sunscreen the whole time, you're not going to make vitamin D. No. And that's one of the problems is a lot of people are wearing the sunscreen all the time. Yep. And so we are getting a deficiency in vitamin D because of that, even in our sunny area here. Yeah. Yep. All right, well, give us a call, 896-0713-800-349-0713. We'll be back in just a moment. And welcome back to our Monday Morning Live edition of Healthy Living South Mississippi. I'm Jim Tabor, along with Dr. Jim and Janine Fox of Doctors Nutrition and Gulf, where we're talking about uh, things to do to, uh, you know, get, keep you healthy through the holidays. And we started out talking about vitamin D. Uh, Gay from Latimer uh, wants to know, why is it important to check your vitamin D? Well, because that's one nutrient you can get too much of. Okay, and so you can get too little. Now, you can get too little or too I always much tell people you can take a couple thousand IUs a day without being in danger of getting too much. But if somebody's very, very deficient, that's not going to be enough to actually help the deficiency. Right. What we found is if in a true deficiency state, it probably takes at least 5,000 a day and sometimes even more if you're deficient. So that's the only way you know is to check it, and that's why we recommend checking it. Okay. Although we see many people are low, but it, it really is something that you should it's, should have checked. Yeah. All right. Uh, Carol wants to know what's the difference between vitamin D2 and D3? One number. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding, Carol. Just kidding. Just kidding. D2, basically D2 it's is, a, is synthetic. a synthetic. Okay. It's a man-made product. D3 is what our body has to have. In other words, that's the... Right. The process, you know, when you go to, you get out in the sun, you know, the UV ray hits your skin and it takes some cholesterol and uh, it converts that into some D, and, and then it actually goes through the kidney and another process converts it all into the D3. D3 being what our body actually, and actually has actually there's to been have. some pretty good studies on even the amyloid plaques in the brain, mm. which actually shows that D2 can increase them, which is not yeah. good, and D3 can help reverse them. So you really want the D3. I, and that's been I linked to your I, Alzheimer's and yeah, things like that. I wouldn't you know. suggest the D2. No, okay. But back to the subject. <laughs> yeah, of uh, uh, things to do. Welcome the vitamin D show. Uh, <laughs> the, vitamin right. D show. Uh, but what's the number one thing that came up? And 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 we were just looking at some you know studies about what happens this time of year. What's the number one thing? Well, number one is the heart problems. Well, yeah, okay, yeah. I mean, I mean they call it the holiday, holiday heart. heart. Uh, yes. Yeah. What's, what, what's no, number one health thing? issue? Well, I don't, I don't yeah. know. No, I, I figured it would be IBS. No, but well, that's well, part it can of it, cause cause part of it, but food poisoning. Well, that's kind of in life. And I yeah. was kind of surprised, but it was like, and that makes sense, because when everybody goes to these parties and the food sits out for hours, 
think about that. Why don't you have food and meat and stuff set out forever because yeah. of bacteria? And so, especially if you're one that has a little bit weakened immune system, it's going to be the people yeah. who are probably, you know, they're going to get sick from, you know, from some of this. I'll never forget years ago, and this is, I mean, it's probably been 20 years ago, I went to a baby shower. Oh my gosh, everybody there <laughs> got so deathly sick. Three people ended up in the hospital because of food poisoning. And it was from that food that sat out at a baby shower. All day. I oh my so. gosh, I'll never, I mean, I've always been cautious since then about food that just sits out because of that. Mm -hmm. and that was a lesson I learned a long time ago. Yeah, and especially, I mean, because this, this is the time, as you said, yeah. uh, if parties, family reunions, yeah. things All like things, that. Yeah. And, you know, everybody's bringing in a different dish and, uh, and you just set it out on the table, yep. and especially down south here, yeah. we have a tendency, because I'm a country boy, I know all, the, I know all this stuff, <laughs> is we have a tendency, we'll set out a big spread, the table's out in the yard, yeah. Yeah. you might put a tent over them, then you might not. You might just put your, all your dishes Even out there. Even if it's inside, just anything that sits out for long periods of time has the likelihood to grow bacteria. So be careful. You know, kind of look at what you're eating, be careful what you're eating, and one thing we suggest yeah, to kind of help. Yeah, those deviled eggs may really yep, pull the exactly. deviled eggs. One thing we suggest is probiotics. I mean, probiotics can actually Huge. just help ward off the bad bacteria if you do get a hold of some of it. Yeah. All right. Jill from Past Christian, can you get enough vitamin D from drinking milk? Absolutely not. The studies say no. <laughs> um, no. You'd have to drink gallons and gallons and gallons a day. In order yeah. to get yeah, enough, because I was always heard that vitamin D was great for you when you were growing up as a right. kid. Well, drink, you know, drink your 30, milk. 30, 40 years ago, that was the thought. You know that uh, you know what Jill asked was, you know, we were told that uh, 30, 40 years ago, and you know they said, oh, drink your your milk and you'll get your vitamin D. Well, well, the research finally came out, started coming out about eight to ten years ago, and showed that ooh, that's not enough. And so we, we realize now that now nah, you you can't possibly drink enough milk. I mean. Right, yeah. and what, the, what, the, what they've shown is that, of course, sunlight, like I said before, is your best source of vitamin D because your body produces it. Now, if you have on sunscreen from the minute you walk out, you're not going to produce it. But even some studies that say if you take a shower too quick after you've been outside in the sun, it'll stop the production of D. Right. So I think that's hmm. part of it is people are a lot you know, cleaner than they used to be back in the olden days. <laughs> I mean, they, we, they didn't take showers like we do today. So I do think that plays a role in it as well. But when you look at vitamin D, the only foods that they say are probably high enough to get your D is wild reindeer, in sun-dried shiitake mushrooms. That's two of the foods that are listed as having a oh, really high amount. Don't let Santa hear that. I, I, really, I was I've, never, I've never seen a wild no, reindeer to eat. I really no, haven't. No. But we didn't want to offend Santa in, in the group. Okay. <laughs> and, but shiitake and, uh, mushrooms. Now those I are mean, good. Those are really it's gotta good. Got to be sun-dried. Sun-dried shiitake. Well, they, the shiitake has the same thing. Like <clears throat> the skin of the shiitake does the same thing that our skin does. It makes vitamin D when makes it's in the sun. When it's in sun. So you have to sun-dry it in order to get the vitamin D production even from the mushrooms. So now, can you go to like some of these? Um, grocery stores, uh, whole food stores, or whatever. Yeah. Can you Buy get them? Drive. I have not Buy. seen them, but I'm sure they're out there somewhere. We, we, we've seen them in times past. Sun yeah. dry them yourself. Get them and stick them in the sun. I don't know. I haven't. I haven't tried that or tested <coughs> it, so I don't know. But. Um, that's, yeah, that's but one milk place, alone yeah. is not and good great enough to for cook your vitamin with. D. Yeah. Shiitake mushrooms are, are just yeah. mushrooms, period. Now, back to your problems of the holidays. Now, she yeah. mentioned the, probably the worst one, and that's your heart. Yes. Because, I mean, honestly, the December the 25th, I think, is, is the, the day, day the cardiologist just, you know, they make enough hay that way that day to live for the rest of the year. Wow. Because everybody, they call it holiday heart. Well, they do know that overeating can trigger a heart attack if you already have the underlying problem. Right. Now, overeating mm -hmm. without an underlying problem should not cause you a heart attack. Sure. But if you take somebody that already has some problems and they eat a huge meal, then yes, it can trigger a heart attack. A lot of people, they say, are more likely to ignore the symptoms of heart attacks during the holidays because they don't want to disrupt everybody else's Christmas. They don't want to say, oh gosh, I need to go to the emergency room. You should. If you have the symptoms of a heart attack, you should go to the emergency any room. Any kind of chest pain, any kind of shortness of breath, uh, anything like go. Pain in your arms. Yes, pain it, down the arm. Yeah. Immediately, you know, forget about the, you know, uh, wave the, of nausea, yeah. wave, of wave of nausea. nausea, right. I mean, there's it, so many things that are symptoms. Look up your right. symptoms of heart attack, and if you have the symptoms of a heart attack, especially if you know you probably have some of the risk factors, do not ignore it over the holidays. Your family members would much rather you go to the emergency room than And what's die. the other thing you can do? Don't overeat. Yes, and don't overeat yes. as well. And so we always say Moderation. Say, and Moderation. another thing about overeating and another problem during the holiday is weight gain. Well. How many people gain weight during the holidays? A lot. We, we don't gain, we don't <laughs> usually gain a lot. We really don't because we don't overeat during the holidays no. either. But if you overeat, think about it. You gain 10 years, every, 10 pounds every, every year mm -hmm. around this time of the year. 
and you swear you're going to lose it come January. Well, that's why your uh, fitness centers do so well at first and, of the year. Yeah. And, you know, but many people don't. Yeah. That lasts about Even two if weeks. they lose five, every year if they keep keep part of that weight they gain during the holidays. It adds up. Eventually, it, adds up. it causes a lot of health problems. Sure does. And so there's no sense in overeating. Eat a little bit. Don't eat, you know, don't overeat. Don't eat one of everything, which is what people do. Mm -hmm. um, because it really does affect your health down the road. It's not just about just now. That's true. It is, you see more people that gain that weight during the holidays and they never, never take it off. That's Call true. You pooper. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we'll be right back in just a moment with uh, this week's special. And welcome back to our final segment, our Monday morning live edition of Healthy Living South Mississippi. Live healthy, be healthy. Caller from Ocean Springs wants to know vitamin level at 30. Can that vitamin contribute? D. The vitamin D level. Uh, vitamin D level at 30. Can that contribute to memory loss? I mean, it's possible. You know, the optimal level is somewhere between 50 to 75. But I, I would look at other things, possibly what right. B12. 30 you know. is on the low end of normal, mm -hmm. so you're in range, but barely. Um, and you do want to look at B12 levels. When it comes to memory, you really got to look at that B12 because that makes a huge difference in memory. All right. Bobby from Socia, is there a natural supplement for battling depression during the holidays? Yes, there is. There and sure that's is. that's another big problem that we just hadn't gotten to yet is depression. And 5-HTP. Yep, XYZ exactly. you call it. XYZ right. you <laughs> call it. You cannot. You cannot take it with other antidepressants. So I just right. I want to stress that because I don't want people to right. go out and just get it and not, you know, take it with their antidepressant. Now, another thing, vitamin D, we've been talking about it the whole show, vitamin D and fish oil together has been shown to also help depression. And vitamin D drops during the winter, and that tends to be, winter tends to be when you don't get as much sunlight, which also affects the, you know, depression. And actually around this time is when your vitamin D level is gonna be at its, probably at its I lowest. I also recommend yeah. people, even, we are in an area. Now, you know, if, you, if we were up north, it'd be a different story. We're in an area you can still go outside and for helping depression with sunlight, it doesn't take skin exposure, it takes eye exposure. So go outside with no sun, sunglasses because you don't want to block, it increases serotonin production to actually be out in the sunlight but with no sunglasses. So that's another thing you can do natural for yeah. depression is get out in the sun. Yeah, get We're out. We're still 70 degrees, 75 degrees. Get that cup of coffee in the morning degrees. time and go sit out on the oh, back yeah. porch We're or still something. 75 degrees out there. We don't have an excuse. Now up, up north, if it, you know, below freezing and I mean. Sure. That's a different story. We're not, so go outside. You can still yeah. get outside. All right, that's and true. Bobby, remember that's called 5-HTP. 5 5-HTP. 5 is mm -hmm. what it's called. And what uh, it does is increase serotonin, which low serotonin is one of the problems that actually affects what they call a seasonal affective disorder. Right. All right. Uh, Jerry from Gulfport, I believe, is on the phone with a question. Good morning, Jerry. What's your question? Yes, I am 45 years of age. I live here in Gulfport, Mississippi. Okay. I am a coastal girl, and I am wondering, um, I'm, my vision, especially at night, it's like a dirty lens, especially around the edges. It would be gray and foggy. But it's possibly helping this. It, it is. But now, it sounds like, now you have to go to an eye doctor, or when people talk about the edges starting, a lot of times that sounds like cataracts. Possibly. Um, so you do need to have that checked. Now, we do have some eye drops that help slow cataracts, and it's called vision clarity. Um, so that does help. But, and we do have ocular support formula that's actually vitamins for the eyes. Specifically for the eye. And mm -hmm. so that's another good thing. But I would definitely have them checked because the way you say the edges look cloudy, possibly cataracts. Yeah. You're young, but it doesn't, I've seen it happen at young ages. All right. Okay, thank you. Thanks, Thanks Jerry, Jerry, for your call. Okay, well, we, before we run out of time, what's the special this week? Well, we've got a couple of things. You know, one of the things we mentioned overeating. And so one of the things we're going to talk about is carb down. Now, carb down is a carb blocker. So you take you know, a couple of these capsules before you indulge in your meals and you kind of block some of the carb calories that you really don't need anyhow because it binds to it and won't let your body absorb it. So it does help blood sugar as well because yeah. of the way it doesn't let you absorb all your carbs. We recommend not overdoing the carbs, but around the holidays a lot of people do, so it's something that you can do to block it. Yeah, and the other is enzymes because people overeat. You need more enzymes. Right, that, uh, so digestive enzymes keep you from getting that heartburn. And mm -hmm. we constantly yeah. see people with that. Yeah. And unfortunately, around the holidays, you don't know if it's a heartburn or heart attack. So keep the heartburn <laughs> down, and that way, you know, so enzymes are always good. You take them with each meal, just helps you digest your food better. Yeah. Yeah, because sometimes some of the stuff that we eat down here is a little bit hard to, uh, a little hard tough. to break down. Yeah. Hard to break down. Especially if you overeat. Always exactly. eat small meals. You eat too much. You eat too much Always eat small meals. So, um, you know, this is really, uh, we're past Thanksgiving now, and, 
you know, this is the time as well that's most holiday parties. Hot, thank you. You're reading my mm -hmm. mind. This Holl is getting scary. I've been doing this Holl show for two years, and she's <laughs> reading my mind. Uh, I was going to say the holiday parties, um, yeah. things like that, and of course, you know, you've got Christmas. That's uh, that's less than a month away now. Yeah, and it's and, coming up quick. Yeah, and yep. uh, then from there you get into New Year's parties and it just keeps yep. on going. Then Mardi Gras and. Whew. Yeah, so just you know, like so don't, from there. <laughs> don't overeat is the big thing. That it, right. it'll keep you from getting moderation. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, don't it'll go stacking your, your plate full up of the, food yeah. and then sit there and say, I can't let this go to waste. I got to eat it all. You know, yeah. a little little bit, little bites here and there. Try a lot of different things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's very good for you. Very mm -hmm. good for you. So yeah. those are some really, really great tips for you. Um, and I guess one of the other things that make you uh, help you get through the holidays um, healthier and better is uh, don't drink too much. Yeah, don't, adult yes. beverages are good, but keep it in moderation. And another big problem <laughs> during the holidays is stress. It's one of the most stressful times of the year, yeah. they say, for people. Because everybody thinks they have to have everything perfect and their house has to be perfect and everything. Try not Shopping to worry. will do that. Try not to worry. I mean, the oh, stress yeah. is going to make you feel bad and not enjoy the holidays. So try to control stress better. Maybe do some yoga and some meditation and exercise. And just getting out and walking yeah. around the block mm -hmm. or something oh, yeah. like that, or Perfect. walk around yeah. the yard. A lot of people yeah. get to where they don't exercise around the holidays. You don't know how many people we hear that said, "Oh, well, I'm going to get healthy after the new year." Well, there's no sense in two <laughs> months out of the out of the year being really unhealthy. So oh, yeah. you want to try to stay healthy all the time. Doesn't mean you can't enjoy a little bit. But a little bit, don't overdo it. Right, that's the important. That's thing. the it important is. thing. Yeah. Yeah. You uh, especially if you haven't exercised in a long time. A lot of you try to just jump into it. You know, say, okay, I'm going to go gun ho and everything like that. You end up hurting yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's what usually happens in January. Yeah. Right. Yeah. January is when we see all the yeah. the injuries from over exercising yeah. because they haven't done anything in months and they're going to go all out. Yeah, but you know, you're right. You know, this time of year, I mean, the weather we've got right now is gorgeous. Yeah, really uh, is. it is. Now, Tommy says we're going to get a little rain, which we need. Mm -hmm. um, but, but it's only a few know, days. Only a few days. Get out and you know, like when it, this morning, it's what 70 degrees. My goodness, get outside and walk around. You know, and, yeah, walked and, outside with a light jacket this morning. It's like, I don't need this. Don't even need the jacket. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's it's perfect yeah. time of the year to get out and get a little sun while mm -hmm. it's out, you know. It's the, nat the natural vitamin D. Exactly. Right, the natural vitamin D and help depression, just like we talked to the you know, the one guy asked what you could do. That yeah, because if you sit inside if you sit inside mm -hmm. all the time where it's just kind of dark and I don't care how much TV you're watching or you know how uh, you know, your favorite sports team is doing or anything like that. You know, that's right. You get outside, let that sun shine, just feel it, mm -hmm. you know, and, and just the whole optic thing, just and what it yep. does for you. I've always, Not only physically, but yep. mentally. Yep. I've mentally. always that's said, the I think there's yeah. tons of chemicals that the sunlight helps us make that we don't know about. Yet. So we don't know yet. Yeah. So. Does, do we sell anything that helps counteract the effects of alcohol, caller <laughs> asked. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, now B vitamins have always been said to help uh, with that hangover, but not over drinking is one of the big things. And drinking lots of water. Yes. Yeah. Even water. in between when you're drinking. Yeah, they say drink, drink, you know, one drink, yeah. drink some water. Right. A glass right. of water. Drink and it'll another slow drink. you down on the drinking as well to drink True. water in between. Yeah, but because also, you'll be going to the bathroom a lot. Not over drinking yeah. is a key. B vitamins do help some. Um, nothing is that magic thing if you drink way too much. That's true. <laughs> so don't drink too much. So uh, I believe next week is our Open, open line, line Monday. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Open so, Line. Yeah. So uh, start getting some questions in, in your mind together regarding mm -hmm. uh, any kind of health issues you, that you may have. Yeah, we'll be talking about anything they want to talk about. There you go. There you go. And don't forget the doctors are there Monday, Tuesdays, and Thursdays from uh, 10 to 530. Uh, the store is open Monday through Friday. From 10 to 5:30, but and there is a doctor always there, there Monday now. through Friday. Yeah. Right. There you go, and then yeah. Saturdays 11 to 2. So have yourself a uh, great week, and we will see you back next Monday for another live edition of Healthy Living South Mississippi. Live healthy, be healthy.